during outpour. Okay, let's see what's that. If I can get on my iPad now. Good morning, if you're watching. Yes, there we are. Turn all the sound down. Okay, so let's see. We Do we have any... I got that all set up, right? Get all of our comment situation settled here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So we are Corinne and Kelly from the Stampers Boutique. Hey, Penny, I see Penny just popped in. Um, we are here in Rankin, Georgia, off of 21. Hey, Deeds. And we're behind the Subway and the Sonic, kind of in that building behind there. So if you are not familiar with um, our location, that is where we are. If you are from out of state, um, we're glad that you're watching. Hello, Janice. So I'm going to keep looking at comments. This is going to be a little bit weird, but so we had this idea months ago, like literally a well, long time ago. Like last year yeah, sometime. Months, months ago to do some kind of a live create creating session. Um, Kelly and I have a fun relationship. We're very different and then very much the same in a lot of ways, you yes. know, so it's just, we just have a great relationship. She helps me here at the Stampers Boutique, and she teaches some of our classes. Um, she actually has her own line of products that she designs and things like that. She loves to sew and create, upcycle things, yep. create out of, you know, make something new out of something old. Yeah. And she just released her very first stamp set. Let me see if I have it in a... Funky Textures for Sweet and Sassy Stamps, so that's exciting. Um, but we we have a totally different style. Like we each have our own crazy style for well, maybe yours is crazier than mine. I don't know, but for our um creating. Yes. And so we thought it'd be fun just to do some kind of a a create session, live session where we talk with you guys and then we sort of challenge ourselves maybe using a few different products or something like that, and then we each create something that is uniquely us. Yes. So um, so that's what we're going to be doing. We'll see how this goes. Now, the other thing, too, is you're not going to be able to see um, exactly what we're doing on our, you know, like we don't have a way. We're not, you know, super professional. We don't have all the fancy things. So you're going to see us this way for now so we can figure out something else if, if we need to. Um, and we will show you, like, we'll try to kind of show you what we're doing as we're doing it and talk about the products that we're using. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, you're going to get to just kind of see us interacting together and creating almost like you're sitting across the table from us. That's yeah. kind of the idea. So would you like to say anything to the peoples? Um, Kathy joined us. So hi, Kathy. Yes, Kathy Bohannon. Hey, girl. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of excited. Um, yeah, about we're a little bit nervous. We are a little bit nervous, but I remember when you mentioned this, literally months you know, ago, at least the middle of last year, if not before that. And you literally said it to me. I remember you were sitting in the office, and you're like, "Okay, I'm going to tell you something, but you can't <laughs> bring it up ever again until I do." I'm like, "Great." <laughs> Did I really say that? Yes, because you didn't want me to be like, I, I know oh, this is so excited. excited. I know. I knew she'd Let's be excited. Do this. And I was like, this is just the planting of the seed of this idea. So let's just, just yeah, ease she, our way. Yeah, she didn't want me to, ha you know, keep bothering you about it. Yes, that's true. Okay, now I do <laughs> vaguely remember that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so, that's funny. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions or, you know... Make sure yeah. you comment. And... If you want to get to know us or if you don't already know us, a lot of you may already know me, but if you want to get to know Kelly a little bit more, um, feel free to ask us questions about, this is just a completely informal, just hanging out with the yep. girls, crafting and, and If you chatting. want to craft with us, yeah. grab some things. Yeah, because we're going to share with you what we're going to be using. Yes. So today we're going to actually be using our new release for January which of course includes Kelly's new set. And then I have a couple, let's see, I think I have one set in this release as well. The taco, the Feed Me Tacos set 
is one that I designed. And then we also have the, um, the Gnome Love, which is by Julie Tillman. And we've got two sets by Deeds Kaysen this time. This is um, My Savior's Love and Sweet Pea Alpha. So we've got these um, as part of the release. And then we do also have two new stencils that I designed. Um, our um, Hearts Galore, I have to think for a second, mm -hmm. and the Birch Forest stencil. So we not are not necessarily going to use all of these products in this session, but we'll just we're going to pick from these products. And um, and then the other things we're going to do is we've decided on we're going to use somehow incorporate gelatos. So if you're not familiar with gelatos, we'll kind of get to you know share those with you a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use the color pink. So we picked a color that if we wanted to go Valentine, we could. But um, so I might use pink and another a, a few other colors and you might go a completely different route. We don't even know. We don't even know what we're doing. We don't. So this is, yeah. <laughs> we have a few things in front of us, but we're just kind of like, okay, we'll see how this goes. So, so if you want to play along, you can. If you just want to watch and... Um, just see how this crazy, this crazy pet thing happens, then that's fine too. <laughs> um, but yeah. please talk with us because we don't want awkward silences. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of those. No. So we might just start randomly talking about things just to keep the, keep the, the conversation going. Uh, oh, I forgot about the dies. We oh, also yeah. have, um, so we have the new Love You dies that are part of the release too, which grab up here might use these as well but this is how it comes to you when you first get it and you can cut um, snip out the love and the you and then you can layer them or you can cut them out so you can layer the background um, there's like a background or if you cut them out together like still like this Kelly has I might have taken them all apart no, that's okay, because oh. it's cool when you see, so you can actually, if you line them up properly or before you cut them apart, you can actually create almost like a puzzle piece thing where you can, um, I don't know, like place it inside. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So I'm going to have to kind of be reaching here, I guess, to show you guys what we're doing, but it's kind of fun that way if you want to use it that way. So a couple different ways you can do that. So we might use that too. I have these cut from um, earlier or from last week, I think it was. So, okay. So, yes. Yeah, so, please chat. Oh, Deed says she's going to go to her craft space. So, that's exciting. All right. So, what are we? What do you got going on over here? I don't know. You're already, I was, you're already playing. I am. I'm still talking. I was going to, um, I, I don't know. It might be cut too small, but I was going to see if I could use the gnome as, like, a stencil. And mm -hmm. have like a little background, but it keeps moving. Oh, you might have to tape them down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, tape. That's a good idea. <laughs> so we also have a few of the images like already cut. And because, you know, when you first get a new release, well, I don't know if you guys do this, but I totally do this. Stamp a bunch of the images ahead of time just so that I have them ready to go when I want to just play with them. So... I feel like I want to do something with Deed's flowers this time, though. I haven't really played with this set much. So maybe let me reach over here and grab my little trusty cart with all my Copics. And if you, you know, want to see my Copic collection, this is my insane Copic collection. I've been um, a fan of Copic markers since good grief. I don't even know, probably 15 years ago, something like that. So I've acquired a lot of markers over the years. Yes, Deeds is excited that I'm going to play with her flowers. I just have to see if this one, I can't remember what ink I used to stamp that. I might have to color with, I might have to use. So what ink you use matters when you're stamping um, when you want to color with alcohol markers, the ink that you use to stamp with first does matter. So I have to kind of see. I think I used Versafine to stamp this image, and Versafine will not work with Copics. It will smear. So just FYI. So now you've taped it down. 
Yeah. Ooh, I, mean, I need to not look at what you're doing. Okay, don't look at me. I know. Yeah, don't. I know. I'm going to get sick. Don't try and copy me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to copy you. <laughs> um, no, because that kind of takes the fun. It does. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. I don't know either. So uh, I'm just kind of putting my gelatos on the, the stamp block and I'm kind of using spray it with water and use them as like watercolors so awesome. I can color um, I'm thinking so I kind of feel like lately since I've been taking these classes <laughs> and stuff mm -hmm. I definitely have figured out I've always done a little bit of everything um, and I am totally a mixed media person yes so Kelly loves all the things. All the things, yes. And she loves to layer all the things. Yeah. And she loves, hey Kay. Oh, two Ks are on. Two Ks are watching Hello, us. Hello, Kay. K the K squared. Yes. Um. Yes. So, um, and if you don't know, if you're one of our sweet and sassy people and you have not been to our store, um, the Stampers Boutique. Kelly teaches our junk journaling classes here, mm -hmm. which are super popular. Yeah. And um, she has done, let's see, what else have you taught? You've done some of the, you did, oh my gosh, can't, my brain just completely went blank. Jelly printing. Right? Jelly printing, yep. Um, she has a really fun class coming up. What is it in? Next month. February, she's going to be doing because she's been practicing her water coloring, so she's going to teach a watercolor florals like botanicals. Uh huh. Yes. yes, class. So that's going to be fun. So, Jana's gelatos are like uh, fancy crayons, um, they're, they're color sticks. They're, yeah, they're like they're like waxy, sort of. Yeah, and they're water soluble. Well, yep, water soluble. Um, ooh, junk journaling lives. Deeds oh, said about a junk journaling live. That's a good idea, that Deeds. Have to yes. Look into that. Um, yes, I'm really finding I love um, gelatos, the um, like water soluble pencils, like watercolor pencils, mm -hmm. um, the Faber Castells, those are mm -hmm. kind of my favorite now. Cool. And, um, oil pastels really i like the, the texture this yeah the smoothness. <clears throat> they have the smoothness that it and it blends like kind of gives it that maybe it's the blendy grungy look that it gives um you liking grunge i That's know crazy. i know i've never heard of such a thing yeah yeah <laughs> exactly Yes, she is our in-house grunge queen. I am. I can't um, help it. It doesn't she, even matter what it and is. And she doesn't think about it. She does. She's not. So I'm the overthinker. I like overthink everything. And Kelly just does it. She just. She just does it. And so I. I really want her to rub off on me a little bit more because, yeah. Sometimes I stress myself out. So I just used the die cut gnome. Um, and I used it as a stencil. Okay. And and then I just kind of watercolored it with the gelatos. And now I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I might thought it might be kind of cool to have like a like a shadow or something for mm -hmm. the gnome. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm sure you'll come up with something. I don't know where I'm going with it. I'm sure you'll come up with something and we'll all be like, oh wow, we would never have thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> so so I am just coloring with my Copic. Actually, maybe I'll show you kind of a um, my process, or well, not my process, but where I am in this. Um, there's a little bit of a delay, so if you see us like looking at our screens um, and we kind of linger a little bit longer, it's because we're waiting for it to catch up <laughs> because we uh, we are not able to see it in real time. So I am using, let's see, if you if you like Copics and, and you like to know colors, I don't follow the rules um, as far as what they say with um, Copic color families and stuff. I don't always 
follow the rules. So I am using um, RV17, which is called Deep Magenta. And then I am using um, RV63, which is called Begonia. And I'm gonna see where we go with this, with these pink flowers. They're gonna see if you get bingo. Yes. The RV. RV-63. Yes. Yes. So, who, who, who's watching that uses, um, oh, Esther commented and said that she thinks it would be awesome if you did junk journal and lives. Oh, thanks, Esther. And Esther loves layers and textures, too. Tina Harris is watching. Hey, Tina. Hey, Tina. Um, okay, so does anybody else like alcohol markers? Do you have a favorite kind if you use alcohol markers? I know there's a lot on the market now. Um, when Copics first came, became big in the stamping community, they were really the only alcohol marker on the market. And then, of course, mm. um, you know, people have to jump on the bandwagon because that's just the way it goes. Yeah. And so now there's a lot of different types of Copic, mar or not Copic, sorry, alcohol markers on the market. And um, so yeah, maybe maybe somebody has a different favorite that they like to use. Um, they, they came out with more affordable options because Copics were, are very costly. But I will say, personally, I think they're worth the investment. Well, they used to be. I don't know. Quality, I've heard some quality con quality issues um, with the newer version. So, mm, God, I don't know. Well, Janice, so, yeah. Janice and Kathy Thanks. both said they love alcohol markers. And Kathy uses Copic Stampin' Up! and Chameleon. Oh, I've never played with Chameleon. All right, so now I need to pick a, a lighter color. So when I do my Copic coloring, I pick three colors. I pick, um, I have like a dark and a mid and a light. And I usually will start with the darkest color first. And then I kind of start adding like that middle color and then the highlight color is the last color. And I just finish out the blending with that last color. So for anyone who's curious about how the alcohol markers work. They blend so beautifully. So what do we got going over here? You, um, you're just I don't playing. know. You don't know, you're just playing. Yeah, I'm just playing. I use the opal polish. Um, oh no, she's using opal polish. She's lilac got, rose. All the things. Um, to kind of give like an outside little shimmer. Um, <clears throat> where's the shimmer? Oh, when you turn it over. When you turn oh, it. Oh, now I can see it. Um, I don't, I literally, like I said, I literally have no idea. But that's the great thing, is if I don't like it, I can just go right over it. That's what I say, but I know a certain person that's watching. <clears throat> Her name. Esther? Star yep. Mm -hmm. That's oh. the one. That's the one. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Who she throws a lot of stuff away when she doesn't like it. And I want to have a heart attack because, no, don't throw it away. Okay, so I'm going to have to, uh, maybe Esther, Esther can put aside. I was going to say, she needs to just make send, like a Kelly. Yes, and all her throwaways. Yes, maybe we'll do an episode of that. Yes. We'll just take all of Esther's throwaways and we'll create with those. Yes. There you go, Esther. You have okay. an assignment. There you go. So anything that you would normally toss in the trash, you have to send it to us, and we'll see what we can create out of it. That would be fun. <laughs> yes, I think that would be fun. But we would probably look at it and go, what is wrong with this? I know. There's nothing wrong with it. It's perfect. <laughs> we, Hi, can't, we can't even improve upon it. Hey, Heather. We miss you. I know. I hope you're doing good. We miss you. So Heather worked with us here at the shop um, for a while, uh, and she 
is missed greatly. We always had such good chats. Okay, so, I don't know, wait, hold on a second. Good, I'm glad you're working on it, me too. Oh, I missed. She said she's working on getting better. Oh, good. All right, yeah, I'm gonna health, go health issues are, are definitely, health issues can be a pain. So this is my finished, I don't know how close I need to get for you guys to see this, but there's my finished flowers. I need to add some greens in here now. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll go with these colors. Okay, so has anyone else, you would probably end up throwing it away. You're full of it. She says we would throw it away too. Get uh -uh. out of here. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, who votes that, that, that not Heather, I'm sorry. The who votes that Esther has to send us her, her trash so we can make something out of it. Apparently she, Esther doesn't know me very well because I literally <laughs> don't throw away anything. This so woman does not throw anything away. I am officially like a hoarder. Like, I, when I say junk journal, this woman loves her junk journaling. She, so let's talk about some of the fun things that you have saved that people would be like, are you insane? What What's something funny that you have, well, what's something that you have say, saved that most people would just automatically throw in the trash? Okay, so um, some Amazon um, like packages that come in, like the envelopes, they're brown, but then if you tear them apart, they have like white dots on the inside. Um, okay. And I've kind of like styrofoamy, but okay. they're sticky. Oh. But I've saved, I I know what you're talking saved about. that because A, it makes a really cool texture, like if you paint or stencil with it. Mm hmm um, also, you can use it in like a junk journal as like a background. Mm -hmm. um, so that's totally. What about, have you ever saved, um, like I know I've heard of people doing this and I'm not sure, I can't remember if it was you that did it or not, but like, um, like the bag that, um, like oranges or oh, yeah, avocados, avocados or something. The netting. Come, yes, the netting. So, yes. like, use that on just in the back of something or to create a. Definitely. Use it with paints or I uh, have, different things. I have at home, like, a, texture. a plastic <clears throat> basket that um, I have all my jelly printing tools, let's just say, in. And, uh, you need to show them, oh, it might be hard to do it right now. I was going to say, you should try to show them your bag that you decorated. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Is it easy enough to grab? Yeah. She thinks so outside the box. So, so my, this is like a, whoop, whoops. whoops. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just, listen, this is real people. This is um, real life. This is a, uh, <laughs> like a felt. Felt, thank you. Okay. A felt bag. Okay. Yeah. And, and it started out like this, right? Started this out color. just this white cream color. And I decided to paint and decorate it this weekend. So I think I started with this side. That is awesome. I love that. That's and so much fun. So this side I started with just acrylic paint. Um, and then this side I used gesso first before the acrylic paint so okay. that it would grab a little bit better. Right. Um, and it actually did work better. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So and then fun. just, and then I did, took like the Posca pen and did like the unlegible. She just does things that you might not ever, isn't that cool? See, as Esther and, he and Heather both say, awesome bag. Thank you. It, it was cool. super fun. Yes. I needed to Zazz so it up. whenever Kelly, whenever <laughs> Kelly goes home, so, you know, we work here now. She doesn't, she's not here every single day, but she goes home on her days off and she plays I do, and she has a fun time. And I get very jealous because I don't go home and play. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Yeah. So I'm always like, Oh, what cool thing did you make this week? You know, well, I tried to whip up a card at, at the shop when I had five minutes. 
Thanks, Kathy. Yeah, thank you, everybody. I love my bag. Yes, isn't it fun? Um, I just love that you you just kind of like throw caution to the wind. And if I think just, too just much, play. I don't. I don't ever like what turns out. If I just do it eventually. It's Unless, one of those things where just keep adding until you like it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, right now, this is absolutely horrendous, and I literally have no idea what this is going to turn out like. Um, but we'll, well see, you know? It's, it's going to be fine. So, I colored. I'm going to, I'll update. I, col I added some green, so now I think my image is ready to be cut out. So, this does have matching dyes, so I'm going to go and cut this out, and we'll see what, what becomes of it. I don't know yet. Yeah, Heather, you're a lot like Corinne, but my husband's like that too. Totally overthinker. Um, it's kind of that OCD um, <laughs> style, which is a lot of people are like that, which is totally fine. That's why everybody that's like that needs a friend like you. Oh, thank you. Because you help to balance us out. <laughs> Haphazard, and throw caution to the wind. That's it. You help. You help to keep us. Um, not maybe not keep us. You help us to find your inner crazy. Yeah, just like I don't know, just loosen up a little bit, not be so uptight about all the things. Thank you. My husband will totally, will totally attest verify. to that. Yes. One, yes. In fact, and I and I have I am way better than I was when he. I remember when we first got married or when we were first dating. He used to tell me to like I just needed to relax. Mm -hmm. Now, can you imagine somebody, can you imagine a guy telling me to relax how well I took that? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> but he was right. <laughs> so, yes. if you think I'm as strong now, whoo! Yeah, teenage Corinne, 17 and 18 year old Corinne. Oh, good lord. Was, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Whoo! So, that's uh, fun times. Sometimes. Yeah. What's not helpful? I, I missed think telling it. Oh. telling you to relax. Telling me to I know. I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? You can't tell me to relax. Now I'm more stressed. Right. <laughs> okay, so I cut out my um my pretty flowers. Now I have to figure out what I'm doing with them because I have literally no idea. No clue. The coloring part is easy. It's the uh, the rest of it that now I have to figure out. Okay, so I have to incorporate gelatos. All right, so I need to think about all of our um, our stipulations here. Um, hmm. So, oh, and I didn't tell you guys about the the greens that I used. Um, not that it matters, but G forty six, G forty three, and G forty. I did stay within the color. Uh, family, whatever, um, for the greens, but I kind of stepped out of that a little bit. I did a Kelly. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't quite follow the, the As rules. you shouldn't. <laughs> well, that's the fun thing about art. There shouldn't really be rules with yeah. art. Art is just meant to be fun and an expression of our, of our souls. So, Deeds, are you still here? And what are you doing? Are you creating? And also, I saw that you sent me a Marco Polo this morning, but I have not had a chance to watch it yet. So, I will watch that later. Today's going to be a busy day because we have this. And then um, I have to go run errands because it's my day off. And then I have to take my crazy dog to the vet. So, that's going to be a fun time. Um... Not really a day off, I guess, if you think about it. Uh, maybe I'll use the word, the die cut word love, because it kind of goes pink wise. Uh, let's just see. All right, so let me grab still around listening and laundry because Monday. Girl, yes, I feel you. Yes. I totally feel you so i'm gonna grab my gelatos i think so you're over here just adding layers on top good I job am. yeah when in doubt just add some more layers um so one of the things that 
Um, well, I've always done it anyways. Um, but I learned that when you put something under whatever you're working on, you know, you clean your whatever off on it. And it's actually called an under paper. Okay. Who knew that there was that actually there was a, a term for, for that? Um, oh, good. I'm glad, Deeds, you're going to use your gelatos. <laughs> so then once you eventually you get all of this. Um, oh, good, Kathy. I'm glad you're crafting along. Once you get all this filled up, then it'll eventually be like a background. And you can use it. Yep. In a junk journal, back of a card. I've definitely done that before. Yep. I need to grab, I think, some cards back. So, so, and right now I'm just using the Funky Textures stamp set. Um, and adding more funky layers to this. Oh, nice. Like, I'm finding, I'm finding like, random, um, <laughs> random backgrounds and a stencil that's probably been missing for who knows how long. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> that was up here, um, up here in the, uh, the mishmash area, which, whoa, hello. Yeah, um, it's interesting taking some of these classes. Um, so tell them what you're taking. Oh, so right, I am in. I'm enrolled in. Um, yes, Esther, I would love to see what your under papers look like <laughs> and what you would create with them. Yeah. Well, she wouldn't create with That's them. That's true. She but she away. said she would rethink. She said okay. she might have to rethink it. I hope she does. I so. Yeah, so I enrolled myself into Fodder School 1, and um, I've been doing that. And a lot of the techniques and stuff that they do, I've already been doing it, but I didn't right, know like didn't there, know. there was a name for it. <laughs> yeah, that there's words for all of these things, like clusters and fodder and underpapers. Um, so, and it's, it's cool to just... Um, just kind of learn that and play along. It's totally my style and cup of tea. But then I'm also doing another thing called Life Book. And um, Tamara is the owner and creator of that. And so I'm actually learning how to draw for the first time. Exciting. And yeah, it's been kind of fun. And it's also with it, they do like um kind of like not healing but like where you channel like relaxation and happy and all of these things before you do your art hmm. and your art tends to turn out differently or if you're feeling negative or whatever you write it down on whatever you're working on and then you then you take that and then you go over it with ever and then your negative thoughts or whatever mm -hmm. are kind underneath like, it. Like what we were talking about the other yes. day about doing like a Yep, good, en like... good energy. Hey, Tara. Um, yes, good energy. So it's been, hmm. it's been kind of cool to just do that. And, and I've been surprising myself that you know, my faces and people actually turn out like people. So, um, and because I've literally never been able to draw or thought I never could. And maybe just comes with age and, you know, being more comfortable with yourself. There you go. So here's my background so far. It's getting a little bit more grungy look to it. Yes, yes, that's... True Kelly style. Yes. Yeah. So let's see. Um, so I'm using my gelatos now to do some ink blending. Well, it's not ink blending. It's gelato blending. And I'm using my little blending brush. 
And what I did, I don't know if you guys can see at the angle that you're at, but I have this mat that I'm using, this media mat or whatever it is. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, that's fine. And I'm just putting a little bit of the gelato on the mat itself and then picking it up with the brush. And then I'm just coming in and using it on my stencil. So I get this awesome thing, depending on how oh, I like heavy that. I push and how light. Um, I'm just using mm -hmm. one color to get this fun background. This stencil is seriously my jam. I'm mm -hmm. loving this stencil so much. Um, so that's just a fun background. Um, oh, yep. Esther asked me, are you stenciling with gelatos? I sure am. So hopefully this will come up. I don't know if it will come up on my mat. Mm. I have no idea. I've never done the gelatos on the mat before. So I don't know how well it'll clean up, but that's okay. And now I'm just using a chamois to try to clean up some of my mess. Oh, it is kind of cleaning. It is cleaning up some. I think it'll stain a little bit though. It does stain a little bit, but that's okay. Well, there'll be another gelato class anytime soon. Ooh, let's see. That could be a specialty class that we just That could be a class in. that we... So we were just discussing on Friday, we kind of worked on the calendar for the next few months mm -hmm. because I'm going to be a grandma. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows that. Some of you might know that, but um, I'm going out of town uh, probably end of... Um, end of February, beginning of March, um, when the baby is due. So we're trying to work on the classes and kind of get ahead a little bit. And I don't think we put a gelatos class in on the schedule, but we totally could. But we totally um, could. We don't have February's calendar like officially made yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like penciled in in our planners, but mm -hmm. um, other than that, yes. So, yes, thank you, Kathy. Um, yes, I'm excited. Although they live in um, Pennsylvania, so that makes me sad. And I am praying that they'll move down here <laughs> because I want to be with them. I want to be close to them. Yeah. So, anyway. But, yes, that's my oldest. He is expect His fiance is expecting so um craziness hard to believe i can't believe i'm gonna be a grandmother but it is what it is i guess i am old enough for that and i have been for a little while yes so because he's gonna be 25 in march oh time flies time flies y'all it just flies all right, so I'm going to trim my background down a little bit so that I can kind of figure out what I want to do with this. I really love that. I love how it's like darker in some places and like, and yeah, it, it looks just from one application. Yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like you I used did, different colors. But I just did it like lighter and darker or more pressure, less pressure. That Under kind of pressure. Yep. All right, so I'm going to trim that down and now I've got this fun little strip. So do you keep your little extra strips? A paper for other um, for other projects I hope so because we totally do and we will create something else with those um, his birthday is, oh really I don't know if I knew that his birthday is March 13th so yes very cool yeah both um, um, well, my two older <clears throat> kids Birthdays are both in March. Caden's the 29th oh. and Tatum's the 24th. Oh, wow. That's really fast. Yeah. I'm really close fast. Ooh, really, really close. Let's see. That little strip would have been in her discard pile, Esther <gasps> said. Esther! <laughs> <sighs> yes. Yes, no, Heather. I All the little extra strips. Leave yes. this, Esther. We would never have to buy paper or make paper. If Esther just like sent, sent us, us all everything. her straps, we would be set. Yeah. Esther. Yes. Little, little scraps. I hear you. 
All right, so now I still don't know what I want to do with this because I feel like that color isn't quite the right color, but I need to make it work. We just need to make it work. <laughs> I can't believe you, Esther. I'm so sad. You're chal we are challenging you, Esther. We are challenging mm -hmm. you. You... You need to take the, those scraps the next time you create. You're not allowed to throw anything away. <laughs> I mean, unless it's like a tiny little sliver. But if it's like, you know, substantial, mm, mm Well, yeah, because like when we went to the O Scrap Retreat for the first time, um, I, hey, I, was, Diane. Whoops, I was literally pulling things out she, of people's trash. She was, she was a dumpster diver. She was I like, love oh, you threw this diving. away? That's for me. <laughs> you know, I probably get that from my dad because when I was younger, we used to go to the dump to, you know, take stuff to the dump. But you, back in the day, I mean, like, this was like the 80s. Um, back in the day in the 80s. Why does that have to be so long young, ago? Young, late, young Why 80s. Was that Early oh, 80s. Makes, um, makes me feel old. We would take, and then you could walk around the dump because they didn't have it blocked off, and we would get stuff. So yeah, I, I probably from my parents. That's where that's where all my hoarding mm. issues come from. It's all their fault. It's all their fault. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. Yes. So seriously, and whenever we do classes and stuff, if we have any kind of if Kelly's here yes. and we're doing any kind of classes with um, like gelatos or um, the opal polishes, I'm trying to think of what else, the um, the jelly printing, yes. like watercolors, watercolors. watercolors, if we have any like things that people leave behind mm -hmm. or they toss, yeah, you might find us in the trash. Well, because they of. make can make good. Because it's like, well, we could use that in junk journaling yep. or something else yes listen we you spend a lot of money on your hobby okay yep. who who agrees that you know our hobby is not exactly you know a cheap thing so you're spending you're spending all this money and you want to make it go further I uh, pinch everything. My husband is a pack rat. The older I get, the more of a minimalist I become. I'm that way in some ways, but not when it comes to crafting. Like, I, my husband is totally a pack rat. He literally say, I've found things from when he was like a child. And I'm like, why do we still have this? Please tell me. I still have all. No. I have bins. No. Nope. Of all my kids' art stuff that they made oh, in school. Oh, no, 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 no. I yes. might have saved a few things. Like, I do have bins of stuff of, that my kids have made over the years. You know, like, minimal things. But most of it goes in with, like, the photographs and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But my husband will save, like, the most random things. And I'm like, what is the purpose of this? And at each time we've moved, I've kind of gotten him to <laughs> get purged more and more. Yes. Um, but, um, you know, it's... I'm definitely, I'm definitely not sentimental when it comes to like things like that. But when it comes to crafting, I spend my money on this stuff and it's gonna, it's gonna last me. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Important investment in my mental health. What are we talking about? I feel like I missed the original, the what you're replying to. I definitely need to invest in my money. Oh, you're talking about the money, the amount of money that we spend, right? The, the money that we spend on our crafting supplies. Yes, yes definitely. And it's probably cheaper than therapy. Probably. Uh, maybe not. Depends. <laughs> maybe uh, not. Yeah. I don't know. It depends on how often you're spending, I So, suppose. like, these were all scraps. See, Esther, she made her own background. Yeah. So these are all just paper. scraps of paper, a book page. That she glued on there. So now I made my own background, and you could totally just cut this. I'm like trying to arrange this thing all. In quarters, and use it as a card background. See, this is why we don't throw things away. Yes, money spent on crafting. Diane says, and Indeed says she's the same as um, Esther. Her husband is the pack rat. That's so funny. Yeah, it's funny how I'm 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 one way for yeah for one 
you know, for like most things, but then um, when it comes to my crafting, mm -mm. I like to keep most things. In fact, Jan, when she was here that one time helping me pretty mm -hmm. early on, one of our friends, Jan, uh, who comes into the shop, she was helping me with some of like the random bins that I had and she was like, do not watch me, I'm going to throw things away. <laughs> like, yep. don't, like, why have you kept all of this? <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, okay, I'm not looking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. So right now I'm taking my... Oh, I was like, what are you doing over here? You have some kind of a die cut shape that you... I did. I used it cut. on my Cricut at home. And oh, okay. so I cut out out of watercolor paper. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, I pre-cut a bunch of botanical things, flowers and leaves and vines. So then, because for me, fussy cutting I am is not my friend. I And so I um, thought I'd try if I cut it first... <clears throat> could I could I use it that way? You're not alone. So Esther, would you not like keep this piece and potentially die cut something out of it? Because it's like big enough to do with, like a die cut word or whatever, which is probably what I'm gonna go do right now. Um, you wouldn't just keep that and and use that. Well, it helps if I grab the dies too. So there is that. Probably grab the dies before I go over there. Yeah, Heather doesn't like the fussy cutting. It doesn't love her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my fingers and hands. I feel like you either love fussy cutting or you hate it. Yeah. Well, no, maybe not. I don't mind it. I don't, I can't say I love it, but I, I don't hate it either. So maybe I shouldn't say that. But for most people, it is a love hate thing. I know some people, like one of our friends, Gail, loves fussy cutting. And she thinks it's very therapeutic. So, because she likes to just sit and fussy cut. Yeah, like I mean. Some people like to sit in color, you know? Yeah. I so. could definitely see that. Um, Probably if I just didn't, the arthritis in my hands. Oh, yeah, well, that definitely. It will didn't, make a yeah. That will definitely, definitely make a difference. <clears throat> Deeds. I used to be a fussy cutting purist. I love it. But since Sweet and Sassy came out with dyes, I don't fussy cut as much. That is funny. I love your, your purist <laughs> thing. Yeah. That's great. And hey, Brandy. Um, let's see. I have one little bit of plain paper scraps that I use to die cut little things from, but I don't keep scraps that, oops, that are stamped or stenciled on. Oh, oh Esther, <laughs> you know, I love you and I'm just picking on you, but, oh, <laughs> we love you. We do. Esther. We love you. <laughs> we do. Maybe I'll send you this card. <laughs> Um, I don't even know. Good grief. Throwing away all the, all the good things. I cannot figure this out. I keep playing with this, like the positioning of this. Does anybody else do that when you're trying to like put a card together? You just sit here and play with the positioning like mm -hmm. forever and ever and ever. I can't figure out how I want this flower to go. Do I want it to be like up here and this is down here? I don't know. <clears throat> Esther, have you ever reused the cut pieces from dyes as stencils? Oh, I I'm do gonna all say the... she probably hasn't, but maybe she has. Maybe she has. Oh yes, paper dolls. I love Fussy paper dolls. Takes me back to the old paper dolls. Aw. Oh, Diane, I'm old. No, you're not. You're not. We we will have none of that. Okay. So, although I did, I definitely, when you said back in the day in the 80s, I was like, well, really? I mean, are we, yeah, we are. I know, I know, we are. You're right. We totally are. Well, darn. 
No, she throws them away. Ugh. Esther is having a massive confession time. Oh, Annabelle. Hi, from Canada. Hello. Welcome. She loves to fussy cut. Awesome. So we've got team, we've got some team fussy cutters here. I mean, sometimes for me, I feel like it's actually faster to fussy cut than it is for me to go and grab the dye. Like if I have to go and dig yes. for it or, you know, like, I mean, obviously the die cut machine is right there, but I don't know. Sometimes if I'm at home and I just don't feel like dealing yeah. with it, I'll just grab the scissors and start cutting. Um, it depends on my mood. <laughs> Aw, Diane. She says, I am old and it's okay. Closer to Jesus. Yep. Every day, hun. Every day we get closer and closer. I don't mind fussy cutting if it's a simple shape, but would rather have dyes for more complicated images. That's um, Esther is saying. So, yes, I definitely agree with that. I would definitely not want to fussy cut this. Thank you very much. Right. But, um, yeah. So, Annabella says, so relaxing, especially a very collage pattern paper. Ooh. Nice. I don't know, maybe should I do it like that? Like the Holly Christmas deed said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Holly Christmas. Die cutting or um, fussy cutting that would have been. Although I, I probably did. I probably did fussy cut that a little bit. I think because sometimes I don't have the dies at home if I forget stuff. So that's the problem with having the having most of my mm -hmm. supplies here at the classroom. I just don't, um, I have to kind of take things back and forth from my house to here. Ugh. And then that makes it a little tricky. I don't know why I'm doing this this way, because this I just totally overcomplicated everything by doing that. Wait. It's fine. Don't worry. You overcomplicated something? Me overcomplicating things? Can't, no. Can't that's, see it. Nope. What are you saying? <laughs> She's saying that she knows me. Yes. So, like, why did I just... Why didn't I line this up on both sides and just snip one side? Because I had to overcomplicate it. That's why. That's exactly what we were hoping for, Diane. I'm so glad that it feels that way. We wanted it to feel like... We were all sitting at the table together, crafting yes. and laughing and being silly and whatever. So I'm so glad that it, it feels that way. Annabella says, I just fussy cut all the flowers on a sheet of Prima's Aquarelle Dreams. Pretty flowers and I ink the edges. Ooh, that sounds, that sounds really beautiful. That sounds cool. Although I feel like my hands are cramping thinking about it. <laughs> right. Um, I'm sure it's gorgeous though. I wonder if that's one of the lines I ordered in for the shop. Cause I just ordered a bunch of Prima products for the store. So I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. So I use the gelatos Ooh, to watercolor the leaves. And then I added, um, uh, what were these called? <laughs> foam squares? Oh yeah, foam, foam squares. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's okay. Um, we, we just never know when our brain's going to decide to go on vacation around yeah. here. I'm actually going to use, so I, you use foam squares, I use foam tape roll, and I'm a little bit crazy about my foam tape. This is not even the, the yeah. actual size. I'm pretty sure it's about this much bigger. This is my foam tape. <laughs> Is that what's left of a big one? No, because no. no, you have it. Okay. No, this is the baby. That's the baby one. That's the baby. This is the grandpa. So this is like, I yeah. think it's like about this much bigger. And yeah, I have a little bit of an addiction. I'm just saying. It just, it goes a lot further. I don't have to buy it as often. I can't really cut it when the cap is on my scissors. Don't mind me. Um... Yeah, so, plus with the classroom, it just helps. We hang it up okay. back there on one of the hooks, and we go through it, I assure you. So I guess I'll give you a little bit of a 
an update here. So I added a little strip of cardstock to my background here, and I think I'm gonna pop up my flowers right there. Clearly I am in Valentine mode, but I guess you, you're kind of doing the same thing too, right? Yeah. Because ended up both using the... Um, dies. The dies too. Um, let's see. Scissors. So who else? Has anyone else joined us? Uh, Esther says she loves it, Kelly. Oh, I don't um, think so, sir. Martha and Deborah, welcome if you're still watching. I see a couple new names popped up. It's like that, um, gosh, what was that show? Um, gosh, I can't believe I can't remember the name now. But it was totally back in the 70s and the 80s. And they were like, I see Esther and I see Kay and I see... <laughs> no, I don't remember. Remember, it's like a, it was no. like a kid's I, show. I don't know. I was... Born... Romper Room. Nope. Romper I, Room. I was born in 78, my friend, so I don't... Romper don't Room. Who remembers Romper Room? Come on now. I don't think I've ever heard of that Romper Room. Okay, you guys. Romper Room. That's the... Yep. That's the topic. Diane oh. Romper Room. Yeah. And Kathy. Woo! Okay. Okay. Okay, ladies. Maybe y'all are all a little older than me then. <laughs> I do not remember that. Uh, I remember like Captain Kangaroo and oh, yeah, like I Fraggle Rock. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I yeah, romper room. She room. had um, like a big rocking chair. But Stacy says they never called. They my never name. called my name either, Stacy. And Diane says Miss Virginia. Is that was that the lady's name? Oh, maybe I don't. Wow, remember. Diane, you have a really good memory. You just made me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kay. I love you. <laughs> uh, That's why I said earlier that, like, am I really old enough to be a grandma? I guess so. Because my kid is going to be 25. But I also had him when I was not quite 20. So, hmm. There's that. Romper room. Well, Deeds is even younger yet, so I'm just saying. She, hey, Sue. She, she's probably with me and has never heard of it. <laughs> um, hello, Sue, and it looks like Margie just joined us. Margie probably wishes she was down here in the warmer weather if she's up in the Jersey area still. All right, so my plan, I think, is just to put the love you, I think I'm just gonna keep this simple and just put the love you like on here like this. I don't know if you guys can see that. Kind of like that, the white on the pink. And then I think I'm going to... Oh, Dee said she has no idea what romper room is. Yep, see? So now I think I'm going to um, glue this down. Do you know it's been almost an hour already? Like we literally have three minutes. Wow, that's you great. You guys, that's insane. We did not, we were figuring like this might take about an hour, hour, so we need to wrap this up so that we can, you know, these people aren't like thinking we're, we're going to be here for the next day and a half. Which we could. <laughs> we probably could. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm just going to cut. Oh, let's some um, little strips of foam tape so I can glue this down. Can't wait to get back there, Margie says. So I guess, Deeds, now we have to look up Romper Room. I have to look, look up what that was. And probably do a little bit of giggling. Oh, my Margie thanks. remembers remembers it. Totally, yeah. Uh... Diane, uh oh, Diane says that she would stay with us all day. That's so sweet. How fun would that be? Actually, Diane is coming to the creative worship retreat, so she oh, will yay. be able to hang out all day. I need to borrow your, uh, oh. since mine's apparently not working. I'll have to have you look at that. Yes. Okay, so a little bit more 
a little bit more foam tape. Just a little bit more foam tape. Oh, you're gluing yours down on your card front. I need to figure out what I'm doing around the back because I feel like I want mine to have a Okay, mark. there's my love you card. Very cute. I, I really like that um, Cricut uh, vine or whatever that is. It's really cute. Yeah. So um, Kelly is actually going to be teaching for all of you locals. Kelly's going to be teaching um, Cricut it's Basics. next week, isn't it? Or is it this week? No, this weekend is junk journal class. But it's during the week. It's a Wednesday. Oh, that's right. Is it? Th it's not this Wednesday, is it? Oh, next I Wednesday. hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready if it's in well, two days. Well, okay. So either this Wednesday or <laughs> next Wednesday, Kelly is teaching the uh, Cricut Basics class here yeah. at the shop. <laughs> For anybody who, uh, and I know that there are people out there like this, um, who have purchased a Cricut and it's still sitting in a box in a closet somewhere because they don't know what to do with it. So Kelly is going to teach how to use, how to get that thing out of the box mm -hmm. um, and get you into design space and show you how to use it. Just a few things. So, yes. Um, so that'll be, that's coming up. So that'll be fun. Um, I'm actually kind of excited about it because I may have purchased a Cricut Maker um, recently. Not the newest one because I never get the newest things when they first come out. I'm, I'm like all about, oh nice, I got gelato on my, on my word. Look, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Um, I'm all about just, you know, waiting until it's on, it's not brand new anymore and it's cheaper yeah so. absolutely but yes i just got a gelato smudge it must have been on my mat and i got it on my word yeah but this is not Thank a you, finished everyone. card yet but because i have to put it on the on the card base but that's kind of where i'm at right now i feel like um so yeah so what so pretty, great job, Kelly. Thank awesome. you, everyone. Can't wait for the retreat. Yes, it's gonna be great. I don't know if I have any pink. I'll be stuff. here running the shop during the retreat, but I'll be coming down Saturday. You'll be for here the... Friday. You'll be and here... Thursday. Oh yeah, that's true. You'll be here Thursday and Friday, and then you'll come and hang out with us on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. So. Super fun. But are you guys still planning to come here? Yes. Field trip. So um, the creative worship retreat that's coming up in March. Now we are full, so I'm sorry if you um, are hearing this and going, wait, what retreat? Um, we, we are full and I have quite a wait list. But um, for the people who oh, so are yeah. coming. Stacy said what and when. Yes, I know. I'm so sorry. sorry. Um, we filled up like within, I think, 24 hours actually or well, we filled up at the retreat center in 24 hours, and then the um, and then the next day, by the next day, we were full for even the the um, off-site lodging option. But um, what was I even going to say? Oh, we're taking a field trip. So the retreat is going to be in Savannah, which is about 40. Well, where it is located, it's about 45-ish minutes. I want to say mm -hmm. from here. So we're gonna we're gonna caravan from the retreat to the shop on Friday come and see ya whoever wants to not everybody has to come if they don't want to but who wouldn't want to come yeah I mean I'm just saying right uh I'm... Deeds I can't wait to meet you too um I think I'm just it'll be fun out. meeting everybody in that person. I've in person that I've been hearing about yes because I talk about all of you with the most love well and that you and, see um mm -hmm. you see online when everybody posts their cards or their things they're making yep. and you see all these names and yeah um so it's gonna I'm be a good time doing the lazy this is this is how i'm going to since i don't feel like finding a mat to cut i'm just i just shade oh, yeah. it around it mm -hmm. so that way it kind of separates the white from the white Okay, I'm almost done, and then we're going to sign off. Okay, so now you guys have to give us feedback. Um, 
We need to know if you think we should do this fairly often. We were talking about maybe, I mean, monthly feels not well, often enough to me in a way, but we were also talking maybe bi-weekly. I don't know. But give us your thoughts. So there's my card. Dean said, do this again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here are our cards. So Yay. we used um, with challenges. She yes, said. we will be doing the we will be doing the challenges. Yeah. So today we used the new release for um, January, the sweet and sassy release. I don't know. I guess I should move these back because I don't think they can really see them in the um, in our table. Is something's going on with our little thingy here? Do it often, um, Esther. Said. Do it often. <laughs> Um, well, I'm glad you guys thought it was fun because yeah. I was like, well, it sounds like a fun idea, yeah. but I don't know how fun in reality it will be. Um, so um, anyway, yes. So we would absolutely love to do it again. We will have to see about when we can schedule it. The tricky part is... Um, I was totally I looking to at our styles. Yes. Neat and perfect. Stop. <laughs> Perfectly grunge. <laughs> And it's funny, though, how we did both use the Love You dies. Yeah. I'm, like, all over the place. I keep trying to say something, and then I get, like, <laughs> Sorry. Off. Okay, so let me back up. So we used the new release for January. We used gelatos. Mm -hmm. And tell me how you used gelatos on yours. I Again. colored my <clears throat> um, vine, and I used <laughs> it in the background um, with the dauber and also with stamps, <clears throat> the new stamps. Okay, this. and I use gelatos with my stencil, um, and then we also use the color pink. Yes. So that was our challenge to each other. Um, <clears throat> super fun. And I don't remember what the other things were that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Oh, the how often we do them. So because the store is open Tuesday through <clears throat> Saturday, we had to do this on a Monday because we didn't want to have to deal with interruptions, and we didn't want to do it like after we worked all day yeah <clears throat> or before we start the day because yeah. we don't want to feel rushed so we're coming in on a on you know well i'm coming in on my day off on you're coming in on one of your days off so maybe yeah. maybe bi-weekly i don't know if i want to mm -hmm. i don't know that i want to give up all of my mondays no yeah but um but keep an eye out and we will do um we'll schedule the next one maybe and we'll maybe have we'll to try we'll, to do it in two weeks we'll have to schedule them so that um yeah, we can shoot. We'll shoot for two weeks from yeah. today if we can check our calendars and make sure that that's going to be good. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Anyway, so I don't remember. I thought there was one other thing that popped in my head and I was talking about and then I lost it. So, OK, that's it. Yay. That's it. Thank you, everyone, so for thank joining you us. For joining us. It and was super fun. We had a lot of fun. We hope you have a great day. Thank you, Go Tina. Get crafty. Yeah. You guys have an amazing day. Yep. You yeah. can keep talking while I go and turn off the, the camera. We'll see you on the flip side. That's right. <laughs>